Okay, so now let's add these two services. Basically, we want to make sure that if you want the, to get the questions, we should be able to get that with the help of category. And also, what if you want to add a question? So let's do that. So first, let's work around this, which is, so if you remember, uh, this is what we were doing, right? So if you want to fetch based on a category, let's say if I want to fetch questions only for Java, it's not working at this point, we want to make it work. So what I will do is I will go back to my IDE and here let's add, because of course we have to first add a controller, right? So what I will do is I will say public and of course this will also return the list of questions which we want. And then I can say get questions by category. Of course your method name should make sense by reading it. Now this time this get question category will actually accept a value because we are, you have to mention the category, right? So if you look at the address bar, uh, you can see this value will be keep changing. So this will be Java, this will be Python or whatever topic you have there. Okay, so let's accept that here. So I will say string category. So whatever data you will be sending in the, in the URL will be received here in this category. But then how do you map it? So of course we have to say get mapping because we are getting data. And now in this bracket, we have to mention the request is going for the category this time, not all questions and slash. Now, of course the category words, what is important is because that's what we are doing here, right? See question is by default for the entire controller. You can see we got question here and then we are specifying that we want to go for a specific category. And that's why we have to mention category here. And then in this here, in this curly brackets, we'll mention uh, the topic. So whatever topic you're receiving. So let's say if you want to fix it for Java. So this particular method will be called only for Java. Of course, you have to do it for the other technology as well. Now, of course, we don't want to write multiple methods for each language or each topic, right? So it makes sense to put that as a variable. So we'll put that in a curly bracket. So whatever value you will receive here, will be assigned to this variable, but will it, will it be happening directly? Uh, no, we have to actually put an annotation here, which is called path variable. So whenever we are passing a value in the path, which is the address bar, the address, that particular value, which is in the curly brackets will be assigned to this particular variable. Now, since the names are same, you don't have to specify the name here. Normally, if you have a different name, let's say here, you don't have category, you have cat. So in that case, here we have to mention which variable we are targeting. So we are targeting a variable cat. Uh, but since they are same, I will not be mentioning that. I will just go with category here. Now, once you specify that, we need to return the values, right? Of course, we can simply do that. We can return a question service. Of course, we, as a controller, we don't have to do any extra work. We'll simply ask our service, hey service, give me questions based on the category. So I can say get questions uh, by category. But unfortunately, uh, okay, we have to also specify the category here because how will service know which category you're talking about? So basically here, uh, this particular thing, you know, this is not there in the service. So what I will do is I will just click here and I will say, hey, give me a method. So I want this method to be there in the service because service is responsible to give me data. But service says, how will I give you that? I don't have it, right? Of course, you can do processing in service. Example, what if you want to check for the category length? Uh, let's say if you specify Java, if you want to know length of the string, of course, why we will do that. But the thing is, we need to fetch data from database now. And that's where the DAO comes in. So we'll say questions, uh, question DAO dot. And we'll say, hey, question DAO, find. Because see, when you when you interact with DAO, uh, basically, since we're using JPY repository, instead of using get, we'll be using find because that's the standards we follow, right? So we'll say find. Okay, but then we don't have any method. If you see, we don't have a method which gives you by category. Of course, if you want a particular question, you can get it by saying find by ID. So let's say there is a question uh, with the ID 50. So you can say, hey, I want a question by 50. So it's easy to get with the primary key. But now we are getting data from one of the column. Unfortunately, we don't have it. Now you will say, okay, so you know, I know what you're thinking. You, you will say, okay, in that case, we have to create a method which we have to define everything, how you're getting to fetch based on the category by using some SQL query. Okay, so not there and not even completely because we don't have the method yet. So let's find a middle way. So what we can do is, JPA is actually smart enough to do this. What you can do is you can say find by category. 
okay and then in the bracket you can mention string category and your job is done it's just that you have to specify what type of data it will return so this should return the list of questions now the thing is do we have to write an sql query do we have to define this method no the thing is category is actually a part of a table right so your data jp of spring is smart enough to understand that a user is trying to find data based on a category so it is simple yeah if you want to do a lot of customization then it will not work that's why you have to use sql oh that's why you have to use hql which is the hibernate query language or you can use jpql which is jpa query language so you can you can do that but at this point we don't need any specific hql query or JP, jpql query for that matter and this will work okay so jpa is smart enough to give you data because the column is present in the table if you go back here now, if you say control space, you will get this method, which is find by category and you have to pass this particular string and that's it. This will return the list of questions. I know a lot of things looks like magic here, but that's that spring framework for you. Now, if I say everything is like, everything looks good, let's relaunch the application. Uh, don't give me this dialogue every time. Okay, uh, let's go back to our browser. Let's say refresh and voila. Can you see that we got all the questions for Java? java and java but yes if you specify something else here if you say specific if you specify let's say python it will give you questions for python if you can see but what if you specify something which is not there example let's say if you if you search for kotlin enter empty because we don't have anything for kotlin so that's how we can basically use this we can get the categories okay but what about add questions so we know now how do you fetch all the questions we know how to fetch questions by category, which is one of the column we have. Now let's try to work around with add. So what I will do is, let's say uh, if I look at my database, I can do it from here itself. And if I say Java, you can see we have all these questions for Java. The last ID we have for Java is 10. Of course, after that we have Python questions. Uh, let, I just want to know which is my last ID which we have. So if I go back to my PG admin, we got 16 questions. Now I'm trying to add one more question, which is 17th. Okay, let's do that. So what I will do is I will just try to create a method and this will be for adding string or adding question. But then what will I return? So maybe I want to return a message by saying, okay, it was successful or something. And then I can say not get question, add question. And then in bracket. Now, if you are sending a question from a client side, of course, right? If you are fetching data on the browser, maybe you want to send data from the browser or from, a, from the mobile application, doesn't matter. The client can be anything here. Okay, how will I receive data? So when you say add questions, it should be in a performance of a question itself, right? So whatever I will receive should be a question so that I can add it. I don't want to receive a text file, let's say CSV, and then manually from the code, I will just fetch up each, fetch each value. Oh, that will be tiring, right? Or what if you can get the JSON format? So from the client side, let's receive JSON because that's what client is receiving, right? So if you look at the client, this is the data which you are receiving, right? So this is a question basically uh, in the JSON format. So the same format we have to uh, send from the client to server. Now question arises: if you receive JSON on the server side, do we have to manually change it? No, that's where Spring says, don't worry, I'm there. Spring will say, you just specify the JSON, I will convert that into an object. But you have to also mention one more annotation here, which is called a request body. Because you are sending this data in the request from the client side to the server in the body. Okay, so in a request, you have multiple sections. In the body, you will be having the data. Let's use that and create this question. I will show you how do we pass data. Now, once you have those questions, let's say we received the question. How will you add that in database? Again, simple. Uh, you can use question service by saying, hey, question service, add this question for me. And the question is question. Okay, the service will say, hey, I know you want to add questions, but I don't have this method. We can say, okay, I'm a programmer. Let me create a method, which is add question. Uh, this should return a string. Uh, and then here, I will simply add it. Now, how will you add it? The way you did find all, the way you did find by category, there should be a method in DAO which you don't have to define, right? So let's try. I will say, hey, question DAO, I know you are Superman or Superwoman. Do you have a method to add it? Oh, we don't have add, but do we have some other thing? We have save. In this save, just say question and done. There's no error. Okay, this looks cool, but we have to also return something, right? So what I will do is 
let me see if question, save returns something. So save returns uh, the type s extends t the type okay so it basically works with the type of data so what i will do is i will just return manually string here and say return success you know we should also return failure if something goes wrong but yeah we'll do extra stuff you know how do you handle exception how do you work with the status code as well because till this point we are just working with data right but if you really want to use a power of http we have status codes as well like okay Okay, you might be knowing about 404, right? Not found. So basically all those are status codes. Like we have 200 for okay, we have uh, 500 for server error. We have 400 cities for the uh, return data error. So there, there are different type of errors which we'll see later. But at this point, we are just returning success, nothing much. And okay, we are returning success here. In fact, you know, we should return things which are coming from the DAO. So I will not return success. I will return, I'll just cut this part and paste it here. The success should be returned from the service itself. So if I go back to service, this is responsible to return. I don't know when I shifted to the next tab, something went wrong there. But I wanted to write success in uh, in add question, in the string. Okay, uh, this looks good. There's no problem which I can see. Even if you get some errors, we'll solve it, don't worry. Okay, so this is, oh, oh okay, the main thing is missing here. We have to set the mapping as well, right? Now, what type of mapping you're going to, going to get here? The thing is, when you fetch data from a server, we normally go for get mapping, which is get method. When you want to send data to the server, we use something called post. So here, we have to use a post mapping. And in this post mapping, we will be specifying the, the address. So we are posting a question, and then we are submitting data, right? So question should be... Uh, okay, the main is question. Maybe I can say add. Yeah. So let's say I'm using add here. So question slash add will add a new question. Okay. So now will this work? That's the question. Oh, not intended. Okay. So what I will do is I will just go back to my office. Oh, we, we have to send the server first. Let's restart the server. And how will I get this? How will I run this? Now, basically, in the address in the browser basically what you can get is you, you get the address bar and you can get data if you want to send data you have to create a form or something like that to send json and that's where the tools using which you can interact with the apis so that's right that these are apis which we have exposed we use something called postman so there are a lot of tools available let me introduce you to postman this is how postman looks like you can download it from the google it's very easily available and uh, in the postman, basically you can see we get this type of prompt. Uh, if you get some welcome screen, we can close it. Now here, we can specify the method we, which you want to go with, get post or something. And here we have to specify the URL. So let's start with the uh, this one, this particular URL. Let's paste it here. Say send. And you can see you will receive all the data. So you got data. And if you observe, you also got a status here, which is 200. So if everything goes well, by default, it will give you 200, but of course you can customize it. You can specify some other number, like we can have 201, 202, you can do that. Okay, but now I don't want to go for get, I want to go for add. How do you add something? In that case, first of all, let me just copy one of the JSON because I'm, I'm very bad with JSON. I'll just copy this. And here I will say post, because now we want to send data, right? And then we have to change the URL as well, which is question slash add. That's what we are working now. Okay, but then how do you send data? Because if you do that now, if you say send, you can see it will say bad request. Something went wrong here. It just says 400 bad request. We don't have, or something went wrong with this part. We can actually check what went wrong. If I can go back to my IntelliJ, um, okay, there's no problem here. Did I do something wrong here? So that's question add, let me just send a request. Method not allowed because we are by default going for get. So post is actually working. We are sending, okay, we are not sending data. So what I will do is I will go to postman. So let's try to send data this time. So you can see it says bad request. So we are not sending data. So I will go to body and click on raw or you can select JSON here or I mean JSON data. And you can paste a dummy record. So we have this thing. We already have this question. I will just customize it. I don't want to mention the ID. I want it to be auto-generated. And I want to customize the question as well. Just trying to increase the size of this. I don't want to see the history. 
Okay, so this question need to be changed. Uh, so I will say this question is maximum value for byte in Java. So what's the maximum value you can store in byte? So let's put some options there. Of course, you can do that in a form. Uh, let's say 100, we got 127. Uh, we got 255 and let's say this is 999 the right answer is 127 if i'm not wrong and this is easy so let's say easy and done so once we have specified the json data what i can do is i can click on send and now we got a internal error okay let's see what the error is okay it says the id one already exists duplicate value for primary key I've mentioned the sequence, right? So should I go for identity? Let's try with identity. Let's try. Click on send. Okay, it, we got it. So basically, instead of using uh, sequence, we should be going for identity. And you can see it says success. I'm just curious to know the, uh, the ID for that. So I will say get. I want to get all questions and send. Okay, you can see we got 17. So it is automatic. So we have to say identity there because that's what we have configured in the database. So that depends upon what type of column you're creating a database, right? So 17 works and you can see we got the question as well. And that's how basically you add. So to add, you have to use Postman or any API tool you want to use. So we are saying we are fetching all this data. Cool. Anything else we can do here looks good. So yeah, we were able to fetch data uh, by category and we were, to, we, we were able to add data as well. Now for this, we can also use update and delete. So if you want to use delete, you should be using a delete mapping here. Okay, so try that as an assignment, okay? And let me know your answer in the comments. So instead of using post, you have to say delete mapping. Uh, instead of using, uh, for update, you have to use put mapping. And we have methods as well. So for in DAO, basically if you go to question service, basically, let's say, I want to delete this. So I can say question DAO dot, there's an option of delete as well. And there's an option of update. Uh, there's an option of, oh, in fact, we say save. So save is used for both update and uh, save. So I hope that makes sense. So, so try it out and let me know in the comments. Now, is it complete? Not exactly. We have to do a lot of different stuff. First of all, we have to uh, add exceptions here. If something goes wrong, we have to also specify the status codes. So for that, we are going to use response enti entity. And then we have to also use question service or the quiz service because questions are done. The quiz is remaining, right? How do you create a quiz? How do you play the quiz? Or playing will not be doing maybe. Let's see how it goes. So in the next video, let's try to add certain exception handling stuff here.